In order to do a nozzle check, it's best if this is done on a transparency. And the reason we want to do this on a transparency is because if we try and do this on a white piece of paper, you won't see the white because it'll blend in with the paper. If you try and do it on color paper, the color that you're trying to put it on, for example, if you did it on a piece of blue paper, you wouldn't see the cyan ink. So these transparencies can be acquired through any supply store such as Staples or Office Max, um, and they're readily available. It's a simple transparency sheet. We now take this transparency, and when we load it on the printer, we want to make sure that we load it to the front left-hand corner of the platen, and we want to make sure it's sticking off the left edge and the front by between a quarter and a half inch. When the printer starts to print, it literally starts right at that front corner. Now, we want to press the down button and lower the platen a little bit. You always want to assume that you had a very thin item in there. To load it, we press the forward button and we're going to load this so that this front edge passes the front cover by between a quarter and a half inch. So I press forward and I'll just keep tapping it. I have more control that way and I'm about a quarter inch past the cover now. Now I want to make sure that the gap light is on and it's green which means it's on we always want to make sure that that gap light is on. And now I simply hold the up button. And that will set the height. Once the height is set, we always want to make sure that we pull the edge of the platen tight to this rail on the side closest to the control panel. So I take my two hands, I put one very close to the control panel, one right at the edge of the rail. We want to make sure that we never go past this rail and we just pull nice and tight to make sure it's secured. And now I press the load button and that'll pull the platen into the machine. To execute the nozzle check, I hit menu, I hit forward to go to test print, I hit menu, it says nozzle check, menu to execute the nozzle check, menu one last time to start it printing. A nozzle check is literally a print. It's going to print out a series of lines, and we want to make sure that those lines are not broken. Once the print is completed, the platen is moved forward, the green light comes back on in the machine. Now it's safe to reverse the platen. I press reverse and it'll pull out the platen part way. That's as far as it'll come back. So now we simply grab the platen and pull it out of the machine. Now I'm going to take a white piece of paper as well as a black background and we're going to take a look at the nozzle check. If I put this in front of something black, it's very easy to see the white. Notice the breaks in the white. If I put this in front of the white background, that makes it easy to see the color sections. Again, we have some breaks in this. The breaks mean that the printhead is not fully primed or that we have clogs. On a new machine, it almost always means that we just haven't primed this enough and the way we're going to prime it is we're going to do a couple head cleanings and that will prime the machine the rest of the way.
Since we didn't get a good nozzle check, we need to put the machine into a couple more head cleanings. The way we do a regular head cleaning is we simply press and hold the menu button for three seconds. The power light on the top of the machine will turn blue and start flashing and it's in a cleaning cycle. We'll do two to three of these. We'll let the machine sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll do another nozzle check. Upon completion of the printing of the nozzle check, if we place the transparency in front of a black background, we can easily inspect the white side of the nozzle check. As we look at this, we can see, with the exception of one tiny little break, all of these lines are nice and solid, and that's what we expect to see on a daily basis, a very good nozzle check. If we put the transparency in front of a white background, that makes it easier to see the color portion of the nozzle check. And as we look at this, we can see that there are no breaks in the color portions of the nozzle check. A nozzle check must be performed each and every day for the proper performance of your printer. We've taken a look at an actual nozzle check, but now let's take a look at a couple illustrations so that we can better understand exactly what we should have been looking at. If we look at this top illustration here, you will notice that there are no breaks in these lines at all. That indicates a perfect nozzle check. That is what we are looking for each and every day. What we don't want to see is this illustration below where there are many breaks in the lines. Every bit as important as getting a perfect nozzle check with absolutely no breaks would be what is indicated in this illustration here. What you're looking at here is you're looking at two separate tests. So this might have been the first test and this is the second test but what you're looking at is one particular area. So this might be just the cyan area, or this might be the magenta area, or it may be one of the white areas in two different tests. If you notice, the breaks are remaining in the same locations during each one of these tests, and any time the breaks remain in the same area, that indicates a clog. If we look at this illustration below, again, we're looking at two different tests, but the same color or the same area. And if you look at this carefully, you will notice we have no breaks along this top line. But on the second test, we do have a couple breaks. But they're not on the first one. They're only on the second one. If we look at the second line and we look over here, You'll notice there's a break there, but there's no break here. There's a break here, but there's no break here. Anytime we have just a few breaks, but they're moving around like that, that simply indicates a lack of prime. When the printhead was asked to actually print at that instant in time, it didn't have enough ink to come out of the nozzle. But just moments later, indicated by the next test, we can see that those actually have moved, therefore that is not clogged. So moving breaks are actually acceptable if there's a few of them. It's the breaks that remain in the same area are the ones that we are trying to avoid.